Uh, my name is Homei Shen from Journalism and Media Studies. I, uh, I have seen that some of the amazing examples you have shared about the specific courses that you have been teaching. I'm going to talk about um, from a program level. So I'll talk about how we're assessing our program uh, as a whole and how we're uh, answering the central question, are we delivering to the students that we want them to learn? And how can we be sure of that? So I'll talk about the journalism and media studies assessment and how we have been using that to uh, update our curriculum. So three things I'll be talking about, how, what, and so what. Um, first is to walk you through the history of how we have developed the process through which to assess student uh, success and that is the assessment metrics. And then I'll talk about the specific program learning outcomes we have developed. And then I'll talk about uh, the extent to which we use those implications from our assessment to update and monitor our curriculum. Okay. So we followed from uh, a little bit background about uh, JMS, even though the Department of Journalism has been in existence since 1950, but the School of Journalism and Media Studies was founded in 2007. So we moved from the Department of, uh, the School of Communication to become an independent school. And so since we were uh, established, we wondered how can we create the goals and outcomes that we expect students to learn and how do we know those outcomes and goals. So we did first off research uh, by doing interviews, focus groups, as well as alumni survey and using external uh, accreditation standards to guide us through that process. And eventually we identified program our, for our program, our mission, our vision, and all of those things, in, and goals and program learning outcomes. So we came down to 11 program learning outcomes. Then we tied those learning outcomes to the courses that we are offering. And to ask the individual fac faculty member who's teaching those courses to identify how you are delivering those learning outcomes in your own way of instruction. And then we asked the faculty to the second stage, we asked faculty to come up with different questions to assess each learning outcome, uh, the 11 learning outcomes, and they'll come up with uh, one simple question, one difficult question for each learning outcome. And then we compiled multiple um, rounds of testing. Then we finalized a question bank of 426 questions. Entered uh, year 2011 and 2012, we started pilot testing our uh, instrument. Um, and then we started annually monitoring um, our assessment. So. Um, of course, all of this with the help of our testing center on campus. They have been really helpful to uh, get our students to take the exam. So those 426 questions um, are divided into 16 different versions for our four majors. We have advertising, media studies, uh, journalism, and public relations. I'm in the area of public relations. So uh, 16 different versions, when the student get to, like one individual student gets to the testing center, they'll indicate which major they were in, and they'll be randomly linked to one of the four versions for that particular major. And those different versions are comparable. So then what we do from the school end is to analyze the results, and I'll talk more about that in just a minute. So that's the how question. And the next part I want to talk about is the what. So what are the program learning outcomes that we are assessing? All of those 11 learning outcomes are tied to our mission. We envision really also our vision. So the mission is to prepare our students to um, be ready to embrace the values of community engagement, ethical professionalism, diversity, critical uh, reflection, and technology to serve the public good. So the students 
are, we hope to prepare them to serve the community, to be ethical, professional, to uh, serve diverse audiences and critically reflect on their own work and use technologies, we're in the media and technology industry, so use the technology for the public good. So those are the ultimate things that we hope to prepare the students for. And we link our strategic, our 14 to 17 uh, strategic plan to those mission, the specific components of our mission, and our 11 accreditation uh, aligned program learning outcomes, including upholding the principles of freedom of speech, you know, we're in that, that industry, and including using statistical reasoning, including using uh, theory and concepts, and including um, understanding diversity on a global level. So just to name a few of those 11 learning outcomes. So that's the what part. What are we delivering and we hope to deliver? And I want to use some of the results uh, from different years. I'm using 2011, 2012 because that's our start year. And we are doing annual um, testing of that. So how does this process work? Uh, when the student enter the major, they're all in our big, large lecture uh, course, uh, which is JMS 200. And we ask them to take a pretest to assess their skills, like when you enter the major, what are the things that you, how, how well do you know these things that we're assessing, we're hoping you know. And then when they exit the major uh, in the four areas in the capstone classes, they all have to take the, the capstone classes. They take the post-test, which is the exit exam. Then by comparing the pre-test and the post-test, we're able to see through our program, our core courses, how well we have been preparing them for those things that we hope them to be ready for. So um, then when we get the data, we basically uh, aggregate all those data. The, all those questions are linked to specific learning outcomes. Then I aggregate those um, questions, how much you have uh, correctly answered the question. So the percentage of correctness. And average that for each learning outcome. And then use the pretest, standardize the pretest correctness percentage uh, to 100 so that we can have meaningful comparisons across the different learning outcomes. Otherwise, you're comparing different percentages, then it doesn't make much sense. So we standardize those uh, percentage correctness of the pre of the pretest to be 100. Then the post-test to be 100. Um, this is just an example of that year. Uh, that was 131. So we know they gained 31 points. Um, overall across the different learning outcomes. And in 2011 to 2012, we had 168 students participating in the test. And um, seven, 88 of them were in the post-test, 70, oh no, 90, 90 of them were in the pre-test. Okay. And then we look at the specific gain how much you have learned, sort of. Um, and these are the 11 um, areas. As you can see at the bottom, so we developed different levels of gain that we hope the students can um, demonstrate. From 100, that means you have learned nothing <laughs> from our program. When you entered, you know pretty, you haven't changed much. Of course, if they, are below 100, that's also terrible. We have not prepared them at all, and we have done a terrible job. We have made them worse. So um, that's 100 as a uh, benchmark. And then 100 to 109, that'll be the soft uh, level. You know, we have, gone, we have done some job, we have, uh, they have gained some in their competency. Then from 110 to 115 will be another level, then every five points will be uh, different levels of gain. But we want them to gain at least 15 points, okay? So as you can see, probably not so well because uh, of the quality of the picture, the bottom two uh, 
outcomes were the first one was uh, critical thinking, and uh, the second one is diversity, understanding diversity on a global level. The first one is critical thinking. So those were only the, they were the adequate, but students only gained 11 and 13 points, respectively. So that means, yes, they have learned something, but not as much as we wish they could. Um, so when we got the results, what we did was to talk to the faculty and share with them, here's what we have found, all of the faculty. Um, maybe you can figure out a way to better uh, address these points so we can enhance our students' critical learning abilities, critical thinking abilities, and diversity. Um, then a lot of those faculty members either added assignments or included extra content in their uh, instruction to, or had exercises to teach students and to uh, really enhance their ability in those two areas. And then the next year, we assess it again to see how those two areas have been addressed. And all our new, um, as journalism and media studies is really a diverse and dynamic field, as you can see, probably using your phones, using your social media, all of those tools, we are in that field and we are in the business to teach our students to, to be experts on those. So we are constantly on the watch of updating our curriculum, but you can't just add random courses and hope, okay, we have to teach another course on Twitter. We have to teach, you cannot do that. So we have to do it from really a program level to see how any addition or any revision to our curriculum can enhance our students' competencies in those areas that we have identified. So, and this process, of course, is ongoing. It's not a perfect system. We are uh, thinking about updating it, how to make it better, and are we, because we want to be sure we're really assessing what we hope to assess. Um, I definitely welcome your feedback, your uh, comments, and your experience in your different uh, disciplines, how you have been doing it, how you have been using assessment really to guide your courses. Okay. And lastly, if, if you know, today's time is not um, sufficient, then definitely welcome you to exchange ideas with me, talk with me, uh, inspire me. Uh, there's, uh, there's my email address and our department's website. Any questions?